let's solve systems of, a system of linear equation using the substitution method. So here I have two equations. To do the substitution method, what I want to do is I want to pick one variable, it doesn't matter if it's the x or the y, and I want to isolate it. So you want to look for the easiest one to isolate. In this case, I think that y is going to be the easiest one to isolate. It's got no coefficient in front of it other than that minus 1. All right, so let's rewrite that. 3x minus y equals 26. So in order to isolate it, I need to move that 3x to the other side. So I'm going to subtract 3x from this side, subtract 3x from that side. Now I've got minus y equals 26 minus 3x. That y isn't isolated yet. I've still got that minus 1 in front of it. So what I'm going to do, take everything, divide both sides by minus 1, and I'm left with y equals negative 26 plus 3x. My next step is to take this piece right here, because I figured out that y equals negative 26 plus 3x. I'm going to take that piece, and I'm going to sub it in for that y right there. It's really quite important that you use the other equation. If you try to sub it back into the first equation again, you're going to get a mess and it's not going to work right. So let's rewrite that equation. 4x plus 5. Now instead of the y, I'm going to sub in this piece right here. That's where the substitution method, that's where the name substitution comes from. And I write down the rest of the equation equals 3. So where I had a y in this equation on the left, I now put in that piece right there. Same piece that we'd figured out and from the isolated y on this side. Now I'm sitting with a single equation with only one variable. I can solve for that. Let's, uh, let's do some algebra. 4x was always already there. I'm going to use the distributive property to multiply that 5x into both sides. So 5 times minus 26 gives me minus 130. 5 times 3x gives me plus 15x. And I'm left with an equals 3. Collect the like terms. 15x plus 4 gives me 19x. Minus 130 equals 3. I'm going to add 130 to both sides. And that will cancel both of those two out. So now I've got. 19x equals 133. To finish this off, I divide both sides by 19. I've got x equals 7. There's half my answer. I now know the x part of the coordinate. Let's find that y. From here, the method is exactly the same as elimination. I pick one of the equations sub that x equals 7 into it, and solve for y. I don't care which one you go with. Pick the one that looks like it's easier to work with. I'm going to go with that first one. So I have 3x minus y equals 26. Instead of the x, I'm going to sub in that 7, so 3. And instead of the x, I'm going to put in x equals 7 minus y equals 26. 3 times 7 gives me 21, minus y equals 26. Let's subtract 21 from both sides. I've got minus y equals 5. Divide both sides by minus 1, and I've gone, I'm down to y equals minus 5. Now I've got my x and my y coordinates. To confirm that that is actually the solution, I'm going to pick an equation, I'm going to put both those x's and y's into it, and I'm going to see if it works, if it's valid for that equation. Let's do our check. So I'm going to pick one of the equations, and I'm going to put that x equals 7 and y equals minus 5 into it to see if it works. 4x plus 5y equals 3. Okay. 4 times 7 plus 5 times minus 5 equals 3. 4 times 7 is 28. Uh, 5 times a minus 5 gives me minus 25 equals 3. 
28 minus 25 gives me 3. And that does equal 3. My check works. So my solution is 7 and minus 5. That is the final answer to my question. Let's move on to the next example. We're going to solve this system using the substitution method again. Now, once again, you need to look for a variable to isolate. Pick the one that looks like it's going to be about the easiest. I'm going to try and isolate this x right here. Let's start by rewriting that equation. In order to isolate that x, let's move the 4y to the other side. So I'm going to add 4y, and I'm going to add 4y. These two cancel each other out. 2x equals 13 plus 4y. Finish isolating it. We're going to divide everything by 2 to get that x all by itself. And now I've got x equals 13 divided by 2. Well, it doesn't go in nicely, so I'm going to leave it as a fraction. Don't be turning these into decimals. And 4y divided by 2, that's going to give me 2y. I've isolated my x. Now I'm going to take this piece. I'm going to sub it in for the x in the other equation. So that piece is going to go in there. Let's start that. 4, and instead of the x, I'm going to put in 13 halves plus 2y. Minus 5y equals 8. Now I've got an equation with only one variable in it. I can solve this. Let's use the distributive property, multiply out those brackets, and see where we go from there. Take that 4, multiply it into there, and multiply it into there. Sometimes, if you're having grief with the fractions, it doesn't hurt to do them over on the side. So 4 times 13 over 2. Now I am multiplying by 4 and dividing by 2, so I can simplify that. I have 2 into both of those. So this is it. I am multiplying by 2, so I've got 26. 26 plus. And 4 times 2y gives me 8y. Minus 5y equals 8. Let's put those y's together. I've got 26 plus 3y equals 8. I am going to subtract 26 from both sides. I've got 3y equals 18. Let me correct that. 3y equals minus 18. Divide both sides by 3. Figured out that y equals minus 6. There is my y coordinate. My next step, I need to solve for that x. I'm going to pick one of those two equations. I'm going to sub in y equals minus 6 and use that to solve for x. Let's use the first one. 2x minus 4, and instead of that y, I'm going to put in that minus 6 that we just calculated, equals 13. 2x, 2x, 4 minus 4 times minus 6 gives me plus 24. That's plus 24. I am going to subtract 24 from both sides. Subtract 24. Subtract 24. Those two cancel each other out. I've now got 2x equals negative 11. Take it a step further. Divide both sides by 2. I'm left with x equals negative 11 over 2. Leave it as a fraction. There's my x-coordinate. Now before I can say for sure that that's the solution, let's do a check. I'm going to pick one equation. And let's sub in that x equals negative 11 halves and y equals negative 6. Four times, and instead of the x, we're going to put negative 11 halves. Minus 5 times, instead of y, I'm going to put in that minus 6 equals 8. This 4 and this 2, divide that by 2, divide that by 2. So what I've got here is 2 times minus 11 gives me minus 22. Minus 5 times the minus 6 gives me plus 30 equals 8. Minus 22 plus 30, 8 equals 8. That check works. Our final solution is negative 11 halves and negative 6. There is the answer to our question.